video lecture we are going to see basic concept of bracing by using a frame and I will show some animations effect of displacement and movement uh, so let's start first I will draw a frame simple frame of length width and height of 5 meter let's translation repeat in z direction now we will transfer this in y direction ok now our frame is ready now I will delete the bottom beams we don't need these beams here I deleted and you can see this is one frame ok now we will see the bracing effect of bracing ok now come to the general uh, let's give some section from section database it will take some time to open I'll select Indian and I will give ISMB 150. I'll also select one angle section. I will use it later. I just select uh, 5056. We will use this later uh, for bracing. First, we'll give this assigned to view. Now, all are the ISMB 150. Now I just want to rotate the uh, beam section. So here I will create one 90 degree that I want to just turn the angle. So I will select this and select my columns so that all columns get selected and associate the selected beam. Yes. Okay. I just I just rotate the uh, a column you can try and you can see from the uh, render view okay now we will come to the support uh, I'll give fixed support first I'll show everything let's give it okay now we have given four supports now come to the loading load and definition uh, just uh, we'll add two cases here in dead load I'll just show you okay in first uh, we will apply horizontal load and UDL okay so first we will apply one member load uniform force uh, of minus 50 at a distance of 5 meter ok select this assign to selected beam I think I just need to change here uh, X I want to give an X direction and in positive x direction so I think this I have to remove ok now load has been applied now uh, we will give one UDL of uh, minus 20 in gy direction add close uh, I will just delete this particular and we will apply this on these two beams ok we have applied the 
UDM of 20 kilo Newton and a one point load. So we will come to concentrated force 50 kilo Newton in GX at a distance of 5 meter. Okay, now we will select here and assign. Okay, now the load has been applied here in the x direction. Okay, uh, we have given support properties and load. Now let's analyze. I just want to show you how the frame will rotate or displace. Of our analysis, okay. Analysis, parent analysis, and same. Go to post processing mode. Here you can check how our frame has displaced. Here you can check results, beam value, beam result and displacement maximum resultant okay now you can see here the displacement is 2.81 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter okay you just remember or note it down that is the value and here you can check the reaction here uh, as we know if we apply the load in x direction the moment will come in the z okay emz will be there and mx my will be zero and obviously there are x y reactions also there so just i won't focus here mc okay 16.785 is the moment okay and we have seen the displacement now let's go to the modeling uh, here uh, we will add beam that is bracing here let's add one by one And assigning the bracing in x direction because we have applied the load in x direction okay we are given the bracing now uh, we will give the section properties that ISA 5056 here you can see all the bracings assigned to selected beam Okay, I think that's good. Now, uh, just come to the specification, and here for beam, uh, select this truss, add. Now, I just want to this apply as a truss member, so assign. Yes, okay. Whenever we apply the bracing, what it act as a we will look and just go to the analysis and run analysis save now go here apply okay now here you can check the displacement you know i'll show the values beam result displacement and noted okay it's 3.493 millimeter only okay previously that was 2.81 i think into 10 raised to 3 so so much reduction in the displacement now here you can check the reaction now here you can see how much movement is reduced the movement is 2.326 means that was i think near about 60 so bracing actually gives the lateral stability okay uh, we can do another one thing here come here modeling as uh, we have provided the bracing hence there here movement will be less so we can provide shear connections okay so we can here provide a simple support so go to general specifications we will release the moment okay beam I will just release the MYMZ start and end 
that means I don't want movement here will actually because of desync there will not be a movement so we can provide a shear connections okay that means only shear will be there no movement in simple word so let's apply it assign to selected beam yes yes now start also okay so that we have released means we have make it as a like simple support okay it will not change much you can see here I think displacement will be as it is yeah but if you see the reaction reaction again reduces because we have shear connections provided that means actually uh, this is uh, I think two or one kilonewton per meter in the previous case here it is almost zero okay so I think you have understood the effect of bracing how they give the lateral stability and how much amount of uh, movement they reduces here we have applied the load in x direction hence we have provided the bracing in x direction and when we apply the loading in x direction the movement come in z direction okay and because of bracing the movement here reduces now let's play with structure now we will create here pin support we can now create pin support as there is no movement okay so come to the support here now you can add pin support okay now you can give the pin support here as there is no movement you can give pin support okay now you can check there will not be any problem here you can check the displacement which will be same that is 3.48 and there will not be a moment because we have given the pin support in our previous case these are almost zero so we can here give also pin support okay now let's do another thing here uh, again come to the support we will give fixed support again here okay now we will delete our bracings here we will delete our bracing okay now let's analyze the structure once again go to the post processing mode now here you can see the amount of displacement we have got you can check the result I think image is satisfactory but still we want to show the result here you can see 1.09 into 10 raised to 4 mm and why is this happen because we have provided here shear connection that means here we have provided simple support so there is no resistance to the bending and hence the our structure deflects you can check here you can see here if we remove that uh, simple you know simple supporting condition or shear connection this movement again goes on reducing you can check here come to the beam now go to the general specification now select these beams and just toggle I am just removing this okay now we again analyze it now here you can see uh, we will get our first condition okay whatever we have got in the first condition we are once again here you can see the animation deflection so which is very less you can see the result I think I have to go to the beam load displacement okay 
so once you apply here bracing you will see the effect of displacement and the movement okay so these are uh, some basic points uh, regarding uh, applying the bracing in the structure so there is a i think clause also something there is a reading that bracing should be bracing should have angle between 35 to 55 i think or 25 to 35 or 25 to 55 so that it can work effectively and if you are uh, having the loading in x and z direction then you can provide the bracing in both direction in our case there is a loading in x direction hence we have provided only in x direction if we have loading in z direction you can provide it in z direction okay uh, that's it uh, from uh, this video i think uh, you will like this video